Hey YouTube universe, I come to you today as the city of LA is on fire, is there's a lot of protest going on, there are riots happening at this crazy. moment. It's crazy to see these things happening again. It reminds me of 1992 when I was a child, maybe about eight years old when the riots happened here in LA. It's crazy to see some of the same problems still happening today. I understand why many of the individuals are out there protesting. The death of George Floyd has sparked an awakening in the country and has made me realize that not only we should strive not to be racist, but we should strive to be anti-racist. And in that spirit, I've come to share some albums of some music against racism. Some of these albums um, I grew up with um, and some of these albums I've been exposed to now as an adult. I don't want to wake up one day with my son and see the same problems and see the same city on fire again. So I'm going to start off with a jazz musician who was really outspoken on racism. This is Max Roach's Freedom Now Suite. Amazing album. Um, as you can see from the album art, it is a straight representation, um, a, a straight call to end racism. The next album I'm gonna show, I'm gonna keep, pick out one song, and that's from Billie Holiday. And we have the song Strange Fruit, which is in this compilation of songs by a holiday. And Strange Fruit is a song that she sang. It was speaking about the lynchings that were happening in the South in America um, during the beginning of the century. So Strange Fruit recalls those horrible, horrible things that were happening. The next album is a really deep album, and that's Marcellus uh, Black Coats from the Underground. Um, this is a reference to the prohibitive laws of the 19th century, slave laws. Um, of course, this, this is an album that which much, much more uh, deeper significance and an influence uh, but it's definitely definitely a call to end racism next we have an artist who walked along uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and um, her whole family um, were part of the civil rights movement and that's Mabel Staples and this is one of her albums called If All I Was Was Black uh, so highly recommend this album and many of her other albums um, next, the next album I recommend from her is We'll Never Turn Back, which is just a 2007 release that has protest songs and songs of the civil rights movement. Next up we have U2's song Pride and the name of love. Uh, it has a reference to Martin Luther King Jr. and has been looked at as a song against racism. Next up is a band that I've listened to since my teenage years and it's a punk band Anti-Flag who have, who have been a band who are very political and really share their perspectives and ideas through their music. Um, this album is called the people or the gun um, however I would like to reference um, just the band for this purpose of this video but uh, they're they put out an album around 2017 called racists um, and that's the album that I would like to recommend it's an album that called out Trump on a lot of remarks that he was stating at the time of his early presidency and while he was running for office Next up, we have um, Public Enemy's latest album. I believe this is their latest album. Um, and then we're gonna go with the song, No Sympathy From The Devil. 
uh, definitely public enemy um, brings to the table um, a call to consciousness and a call to end racism and to end the various systems that are wrong in our country. And as we can tell at the bottom here, they have a statement saying, if we don't matter, no lives matter. Next up, we have some albums from my teenage years. Um, and this is an album from 1999. Uh, I believe it was released in 2000. This is the Unbound Project, Volume 1. It's a pretty revolutionary record. It has various um, artists, a compilation of different artists talking about the different aspects of our systems in America that are wrong. This album is dedicated to Mumia Abu Jamal. If you're not familiar with Mumia, go ahead and Google Mumia online or the word free Mumia. Um, and you'll get all the information you can. This album is dedicated to him. The two songs that I would recommend from this record are Mumia 911 and February 4th, 1999. I believe Sack de la Rocha is on one of the tracks on this album. It was a really important album to me while growing up. It was very important for me to hear these voices that were not heard on the radio at the time that this was released. Next up, we have a band who um, I followed since my teenage years. And this is a band here from LA. This is like Dilated Peoples. And the song off this album is called War. And they address um, racism as well and their lyrical content in that song. And lastly, we have The Roots. Things fall apart, and as you could tell by the art, the album art cover, definitely is a bold statement um, against police brutality and against racism. And the roots and barriers their albums have definitely portrayed some kind of art referencing um, these type of themes. Thank you guys for watching this video. I would love to see any albums or songs that you guys recommend out there in the community that you have in your collection. I have not heard anyone um, speak on this theme or topic. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a conversation or a thread on this topic. Not to get political, but just start a conversation. I want to wish everyone well through these times that we are living. Hope everyone is safe and blessed and have peace and health. Be in peace with yourself, be in peace with others. God bless you and I'll see you on the next one. Well, once more, we survived the threat of war and found a fragile peace. I thought I could give you all the gift of the freedom from war, but I was wrong. It's not mine to give. We're still a young planet. There are galaxies out there, other civilizations for us to meet to learn from what a brilliant future we could have and there will be peace there will be peace when the people of the world want it so badly that their governments will have no choice but to give it to them i just wish you could all see the earth the way that i see it because when you really look at it it's just one world <laughs> You'll find us? Never! We'll lay low for a while. A couple of years. I'll come up with a new plan. Whoa, good thing I bought my drums. You think you can help him? Every boy can be helped, Superman. I think you're right. Good luck, son. Come with me, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a drum set, would you? Hey! Mozart's back! You ain't 
Mozart's back. That's it, Bubba. Shut up! <laughs> All right, Marshal, take him away. Make you kindly, Superman. Come on, Luthor. Just one thing. How did you beat him? High school physics, Luther. While I was recuperating, I had time to figure out that if your foul creature was born from the sun, that had to be a source of energy. Is the world going to be vaporized? No, Luther. It's as it always was, on the brink, with good fighting evil. See you in 20.